This is important. Judy's always been there for me. I always helped out. No, I trust her. Don't cry. But she's a mox. Soul. Not the what latest member sure. of your crew. Sure. Sure. Try not See to you soon. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy, best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. To create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue viral. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So. I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. 
They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Plan simple. Try it. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You got everything on full blast. That's why I'm extra the wicked brother. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay, fuck! On you go! Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! What? Now, or I will fucking drop you! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive. 
massive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn? I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage, observe, not fuck with anything? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out, just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn. They're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen. Need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's?
Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need help, they come here. Last time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Sus, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. You still need something? Clouds. What's that? It's a dollhouse. Sounds vaguely familiar. That where they tailor code things to your fetishes and whatnot? Client subconscious is the script. Doll stars in it. No memory of it after, though, luckily. Thank Christ for that. Wait, mean to say she's a doll? Hm. Saved up for that behavior chip a while, too. Ev was good. Real good. Had regulars booked up weeks in advance. Nobody lasts long in a gig like that, though. Hence the heist, figures. Think she might have gone back there? Said it'd be safer than here. God knows why. Got everything I need for now. Thanks. I'll look in on the place. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay? Give you a call. Okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. V. You called. <laughs> Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping hey, it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock goes by fingers. Oh shit. Hey, get back here. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck me. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. From the oh, all right, later V. Claim, take it to court. Fuck off and leave me be! Fine, I get it! V, Everyone's hey. got their breaking points. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the green of pastures. Hello! There's a line! Nuh uh, you ain't cutting. Sit Fingers your ass down. down and wait you your turn! Him? Heard some things, yeah. Like. His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell did she go back to Clouds? <laughs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. Mox don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs. No, why? 
Her joy toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in. Yeah, well, can't solve all the world's problems at once. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how, exactly? Moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. I think he's done. We going in? Eventually. Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she was here in your... clinic. Ah, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, Tiger Claws? Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? These girls know your chip and faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Know that? You're looking for a friend? <laughs> Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a specimen as exquisite as you. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. Went jittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really. I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. Forrest. They mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney, more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here 
happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point! The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. These guys, what did they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now, they looked like you. They looked like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they'd take her, what they were gonna do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. I'll be outside. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here! I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Trust me, Judy. Compared to the pieces of shit I scrape off my shoe every day, Fingers doesn't come close to being half their brand of rotten. Got no fucking words, V. None. Don't worry. We'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together! Wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... 
I mean, Market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Hop in. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. Hey, V. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. Might catch something like this. Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XBDs. Can't beat that rich synth cough aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Scav. Gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Electric cork patch on the coveralls. Coffee was cold. Like, from the day before. Pizza looked fresh, though. So? Means someone's grabbing bucket slice regularly. Which is not something one does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna schlep across town for it. Okay. We're looking for an electric corp power plant located near a bucket slice. EC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Bucket slice chicks out too. How can you be sure though? Here we go. Old electric corp power plant in Charter Hill. 
Gotta make do with that for now. Nothing else to garner from this fool. If your commute takes you through, no time to lose. We gotta go there. Rethink those travel plans. Definitely. Ride with me. Let's get going. On our way. Delamain cab service has blocked the roads, but causes for the accident remain. If any of you corpo rats are looking to score brownie points with a boss on your still can't shake it. Let her look. That virtue sample we saw with the death set mom. If all they scroll is snuff, then stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. Going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. Not gonna be pretty. So? If you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. All right, going in. Hold up. I'm close. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Hear that? That shirt. I know it. happening he's the boss because he can get any pussy to work for dirt pussies like oh. you it used to be that pussies were just pussies now we're the ones with our teeth assholes looks like got them all i won't hurt you now delta to the hallway If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Now! This 
Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. She's got to be seriously traumatized. She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? It doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. Um. Hey, Evelyn. I need you to tell me who hired you. Seriously, V! You gotta do this now? Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. At least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know too. But it's just not gonna happen. She's completely out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You're mad at her. Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any... I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Guessing you saw them already. Yeah, had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Okay, show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. Have a seat. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it in me. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual, relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. That's enough. Take a look around if you want. Might not be important. Maybe, but all of them are from Pacifica. 
Narrows down our search, at least. Can't see yeah, it. Yeah, Under normal circumstances, especially out of the Whoever she is, get everything she's else got we need serious from net running skills. That or someone who's looking for her. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys. But that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. A spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. All right, think we got everything. What do you think? Woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Now we know what happened to Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her chip. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Oh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oui, we are We take a reason to be too intelligent for that. We take bien. On ne s'est pas enragé. On plie. C'est plus bon moyen de nous gagner pour nous vivre sur yon nous tout. Il faut que nous prenions chance là. Nous gagnons plus bon l'idée? Très bien. Si vous décidez si c'est bon que tu qu'est-ce que tu penses, à continuer à faire travail ou. What language is she speaking? Dunno. Haitian Creole. It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Try scanning the phone. Got it. Give it a second. Heard her mention you're a Nobu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Caught another name. Something like... Silverhand? We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Fine. Just found the auto-translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Do you want to go? Yes. Yes. Vous avez une raison, vous êtes tout intelligent pour ça, pour te y bien. Ou pas c'est même ça fait nous des problèmes? On n'est pas enragé. Non plus. C'est plus bon moyen nous gagner pour nous vivre sur yon nous pour. Ok, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, hey, you got any idea? Long story, trust me. Go ahead, I'm all ears. Now's not the best time. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, 
course. Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why? Worried that I'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? I'll ask around. Make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. See you around, Judy. Right. Um... Thanks. V. Hey, Judy, what's up? V. Can you come over, Stat? Something happen? Yeah. Just come. herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. Stop talking. I was only gone an hour. You, you checked your pulse? V. She's gone. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always when I went out. And I got back to... Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd... Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. Stop. Couldn't watch her 24-7. She'd made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. The least we can do is treat her with some dignity. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. Fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. 
I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. Bummer, Sig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. She smoked some strange boutique brand. That's heavy. Whenever she pulled on a new face, it was down to the details. A lot of people know the real Evelyn? Who she really was? No. Nobody. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. You know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Remember Fingers? How he said Evie was with him for four days. Uh-huh. Did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. Couldn't sleep at night knowing that. Kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days? So... I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I... stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had. Last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. I really wish I could unsee it. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's... Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. I promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? 
The monks died. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Clouds can stand to get the same makeover. Just think about what I'm you familiar want with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. They didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone in Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Glad you okay, so... What's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maida. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Michael Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What'd she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Sure Michael's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her, and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around, then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Michael? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. <laughs> hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deets about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Looks like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean you. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Came to Clouds for info. Left with info. What happened in between is what happens when people refuse to work with you. Ever heard of a little something called compromise? Should try it sometime. Compromises take time I just don't have. Just what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? 
Judy has a proposal about clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read, negligible. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. You picked the wrong side, Michael. I'll be the judge of that. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Probably needs some time to think. A couple days, tops. Yeah, you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. So was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. No. Forget why we're here? You take the blow up doll. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody. Fine. Want you to do it. Right. You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. That prick still works here. It's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. The district formerly designed as an oasis of luxury has become a death. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. 
she's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. The considered selling the land for a single euro dollar in a symbolic gesture, provided that can Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Wished you a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. Careful, they hurt something. ground floor. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. B, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Judy. So? Got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Locust pepperoni. And lots of extra cheese. Atta girl. So, I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips. Turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? Of course I'll be there. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold.
We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Come here, cuz... You want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. But I just wanna have a normal job, too. No fears, no tears, you know? Feeling better? You look better. I'm on autopilot. I don't think. Just do. Sound method. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So changed your mind, huh? Quickly, too. I'm here. Doubt I need to explain why. All right, chill. Not here to squabble with you. Wouldn't put it past you. Judy convinced you. Call me satisfied. By the way, Boris didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. He's not coming back. Doubt I need to explain why to you. Me? I've got no idea why. Remember that. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds, Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I wanna see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I wanna see how Tommy handles her. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? You there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Nice Woo! work, Judy. Gotta do some cardio. I did yourself. If you were to sell that... Be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro nuked. <sighs> okay. Probably settles it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? 
guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Whole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Loving it. Yo, 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 my Jewish... Wouldn't it be better to ambush him on the street, like, while he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in a back alley? Why even try breaking into a penthouse? Probably crawling with guards. Hiromi don't go anywhere without security, so one makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. Which is a lot more than street thuggery. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know? I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. No, oh, shit. I'll still have to meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy! For real? No. Don't want to hear it. But you- uh, uh, uh. Not a word. Ah! <laughs> uh. V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? It's past. Forget about it. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. He came. Molded over in my head. Y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. 
You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does. Just a different program. You're great at that. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Michael, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. Just remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. Got no time to deliberate and weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up even for a second. Could cost you your life. All right, we going in? Let's do this. the affected tissue with implant Ready. technology. But the experts at Biodyne have created nanites that, when injected into the spinal cord, provide long-term uninterrupted repair to the neural tissue. You two the head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Euro dollars per month. For the second Stay sharp. Week, Gangoons might be lurking. Inferno in the remnants of Atlantic City Jack and the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? What then? Everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. And besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. Get in breach, security. Get me in the penthouse? Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. You gotta manage on your own. Okay. On my way. Elevator's on the other side. Be safe. Among them were Kang Tao, Arasaka, more technology, and Dynalog. How's the sitch? We're inside of clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. Has 99 to 1 against. I was that one voice of the set. Do I need to show you what'll happen to this bill if you, the people of Night City, choose me as your mayor? All right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful, though, okay? Fuck you! Okay, later, Chip. I'll be late. I told you we have shit tons of work. No, don't wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust. Anyway. Love you too.
Not if I got anything to say about it. surveillance cam in front of the security room. I was hoping you'd make less trouble getting here. Luckily, they're all jacked into virtues. It'd be game over otherwise. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. Tries too hard. Could have called off the guards, you know? Would have been quicker, simpler. I don't have that kind of authority. Yet. Why are there three guys? What's she playing? That's our at? target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength. Ruthlessness. This is the only way. Michael! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Well, she is no Parker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered Oswald Forrest. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds need new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking with such zeal? Hold on, Maiko. Think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Dolls at Clouds are declaring their independence. Club will be run by them, and only them. V, let me do the talking. Tiger Claws will get a cut of the revenue, but they'll have no say in how the club is run. Stop this right now. I'll get everything under control. You cannot even control your own mercenary. Hiromi will answer for his incompetence later. Whereas you will answer for your insolence. No. Oh, fuck you myself! What might that be? 
They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a ticking time bomb. Tried to pull a fast one on everybody, didn't ya? Jumped aboard the Liberation Train, pretending you wanted to help. But all you wanted was to take Hiromi's place. Bravo, but you missed just one detail. I still can. And no one can stop me. Not their corpses, not yours. All right, V, get out of there. Exits on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gunk. Here's what she was scheming. We did it. That's what matters. Clouds belongs to the dolls now. You're right. That was the plan all along. And you made it happen. Thank you. See you later, Lee. See you around, Jenny. So. Hey, Jude. What's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? <laughs> Funny, I was just thinking about you. So, do I got amazing timing, or are you always thinking about me? You know, I could be cursing your name in my thoughts. Oh, hey. I'm just glad you remember me at all. Because I got a favor to ask. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. Not in your company. Okay, now that we've blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I'm intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <sighs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. Really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right, then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Believe it when I see it. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Sure. What about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay, um... Is this a date? Guess you'll have to find out. We'll have to. See you, me. V, looking good. You mean, considering the shit we've been through? Well, factor that in and you look fucking amazing. Any news from the Moxes? Events, ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes is all. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. Got a new situation. 
And everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy? Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech and how the world's going to shit? Just rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. So ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it. Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why did we come all the way out here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes woman. What do you say? You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. Get that booty of yours suited up. Let's get this scroller on you. Haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? A bag of rocks? Come on, don't sell yourself short. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. Should see me in my Max Tech uniform. Whoa. Mean you have one? Indeed I do. Won it in a bet. Still hangs in my closet waiting for the right occasion. Huh. Gonna hold you to that. Water's toxic, that not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. All right, let's do this. Whew, freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. But the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? No, I bother. I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally, how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. This is it. Swim so over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me, swim. Enjoying the view? Whoa. The 
you, you see what I see, like, in real time? Oh yeah, I see everything. Visual sensors are getting stemmed right now. Can't be denied. To think I never realized how fit you were. <laughs> Don't get excited. Oxygen supply is limited. Great motion calibrated. Now swim hither. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. <laughs> I know that. Eddie Sorrentino, only you. Never did go in for sentimental stuff. Got stuck in my head lately, though, that one. All right, that ought to do it. We are now... Synced. Why now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. incredible. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. Yeah, I remember. MC Dam Limited made plans to build a dam. People protested, and the rest is history. Houses, playgrounds, all flooded. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? It's important to me. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why does this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea just felt weird. Besides, didn't want to come here alone. Or with some rando. Flo's Diner, best eatery in town. Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing, too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. Like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Let's see now. Your 
childhood tasted like scop dogs from Capitan Caliente with habanero sauce extra hot. Of course, tasted even better when you stole them off the stand. You know what they say, it ain't caliente if it don't burn on the way in and out. Weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. Hockey stick? Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit schmoozing, I'm schmoozing, I'm schmoozing because of you. Connie! Connie! You're dead meat anyway. 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 What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. I still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. Judy, Judy, Who's that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like, living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things, technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told. Ugh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was... temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. We still go and visit them sometimes. Here, take this camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks! Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. We looking for anything in particular here? Nah, can't hurt to look around though. Picking up very chill vibes. Feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. I gotta say, don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. It's good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. It's hard to imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mmm. Bottled water? <laughs> touché, Judy, touché. This isn't yours? Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. You took her doll? As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? W why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels, swimming through here. Where you used to run, as a kid. Where daily life grinded along. You can imagine it a bit. Ha. <laughs> Church has 
hasn't aged at all. It always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. I gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that second ago. Now I can almost hear him. Don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah, closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. You like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. Found an opening. Think we're safe to go through here. On my way. I snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Didn't get too soft. I ran out myself. Echo I got back scared me to the Jesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out. Right back in my face. No! Passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful. Easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. I heard something weird just now. Sounded like complaining? Complaining? That the best you got, kid? You heard that? <sighs> Incredible. I, it never happened before, but no worries. It's, it's Johnny Silverhand's construct. I heard his thoughts, not mine. Johnny? What? <sighs> Remember the relic? Reason for the whole damn heist. Johnny Silverhand's digitized psyche was on it, and... Well, his personality's seeping into my mind, taking over. You could say his mind's overriding mine. Oh, shit, V. That mean you're... disappearing? Can you stop it? And here we go. Got an idea. A plan. Just don't know if it'll... Well, work. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Stay where exactly? Are we gonna camp on the shore? Nope. There. Our cottage for the day. How about it? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. 
So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. We must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Ah, forgot to start the generator. A generator? <laughs> What's next? Jacuzzi? <laughs> Finnish sauna? No, but there is running water. I could turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. What an incredible dive. Doesn't get more relaxing than that. Hours up. Your little spa is open for business. Of course I'm What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. Don't bullshit me, Judy. We're still synced, remember? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw no next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. I didn't want to tell you. Wanted this to be just our day. I want it. It is ours.
Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. So. Yesterday. What was that, exactly? Don't remember, or you want me to remind you? You know exactly what I'm trying to say. What did it mean? Like, to you? I think it... I mean... I hope it was the beginning of something nice. Unless you see things differently. Ugh. It can be such a gonk sometimes. Ruined my plans, you know that? Was gonna leave Night City in the dust for good. Even started packing. But now, I think... I think I gotta stay. Ah, oh, well, guess I'll have to make it up to you, won't I? Hmm. Yeah, that would be appropriate. Give me your hand, Lee. All set. Congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa. Asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. Really shows trust. Wanna go there now? You can if you want. Gonna stick around for a bit before I head back. See ya, Judy. Just thinking of you. And before you ask, no, you weren't wearing clothes. Heard there was some trouble in Japantown at the parade. What'd you hear? Corpos opened fire. Civilians were killed. Yeah, that was kind of my fault. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but the second I heard, I knew you were involved. Just wanted to talk to Hanako. Things went a little sideways from there. Dealing with corpse? What did you expect? What else is going on besides that? Ah, uh, you know, same old. Rather hear what you've been up to. If I wasn't always on the move, you and I could spend more time together. Enjoy life. Quality over quantity, V. Just focus on tying up all your loose ends. Then you and I are leaving this city once and for all. Still think about leaving Night City? Yeah, someday. But as of right now, I've still got a reason to stay. <sighs> Try to. Helps to keep it at the back of my mind. Guarantee it does. People already say I've got a bounce in my step. Let's talk for a little while longer. Before I have to Delta somewhere. For you, I've got all day. How is Virtue Tune-In going? Scroll anything preem lately? Depends what you'd call preem. Does smut count? Guess I kind of have to be into a little bit of everything. When it comes to Virtues, I'm mostly in it for the intel. You mean seeing who killed, who using what? Yeah, something like that, but you see it differently. For you, it's art. <laughs> Always wondered, why the smut industry? Isn't it obvious? Two minutes of real feels a week's pay. Sure, but I thought someone like you wouldn't be into the whole objectification thing. Objectification? Not in my virtues. My actors love what they do, and that's why everyone wants to feel them. Can't fake old school emotions. How'd you get into virtues anyway? I always had a techie streak ever since I was a little kid. When I felt my first virtue, I was like, hey, I can make this way better. So I tried, and I did. And then it just snowballed from there. Something else I wanted to talk about? Got all the time in the world. What's new with the mocks? Susie isn't giving me the time of day, as usual. Couldn't you replace Susie and lead the mocks? 
<laughs> no way in hell. I'll stick with tuning virtues, thank you very much. If you haven't noticed, I'm not much of a people person. How'd you hook up with the Mox in the first place? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. I believed in them. Winded up business as usual? I mean, I wouldn't go that far. Few Joy Toys' lives really change for the better thanks to them. Judy. Yeah, even I've grown to like her. She ought to know that. Hey, Judy. Oh, hey, V. What's cracking? Time we, uh, went swimming. Hmm? A lot of fun, wasn't it? What you said then, about what you sensed in me. Death. High time I faced it. Can't be sure it'll work, but I gotta try. Listen, whatever it is you're gonna try, just be careful, okay? I'm here waiting. Thanks. Do my best. In Chicago, ages ago. But I didn't edit them. No, we'd get the ready-mades. Just jack the dopamine wear on the Johns and Janes. Like when they put the new laws through. I wonder if I'll miss it. Hey, Jude. You made it. <laughs> I doubted you would come. Yeah, Carol gave me a ride. Never would have found this place otherwise. Damn, I'm glad you're here. So fucking glad you didn't change your mind. <laughs> I think I made up my mind before you did. <laughs> uh, it's just, uh... Hmm, you clearly got things you need to hash out. Leave your girls to it. Everything all right? Just here. Now. I think I realized I never felt right in Night City. I used to think there'd come a day when I'd finally call it home. Thought, any moment now, I'll feel safe, even comfy. You'll find your place, where you really belong now. Only say that because you've already found it. I say it because I know you will too. So why the hell do I feel like I'm running away? You're not running. You're getting a new beginning. It's a whole nother stage of life. Hmm. Interesting to hear you say that. You know, I used to mark time in stages. One juncture to the next. There was the mega building, hole in the wall phase, and then the group home phase, the mox phase. Every time, I thought I found a home. And every damn time, I came away disappointed. Things will be different now, you'll see. Promise? No, don't want to promise you a thing. Don't have to. You'll see. We'll have a home. We'll be home soon. It's a vision I like. A lot. Me too. We're gonna be alright. If I can be sure of anything now. It's that. Feel better already. Heading out soon. Gotta get ahead of that storm. And stay on Pan Am's good side. Yeah. Carol said a thing or two. Warned me. Don't worry. You'll like her. So, we going? Got one last thing to take care of. It'll only take a sec. Okay. I'll be waiting right here. I know what you're thinking. Why is my crazy output leaving a message on the machine while I'm making breakfast? Well, <clears throat> you know me. I get mushy when it comes to sharing feelings. So, uh, <clears throat> what the hell? I figured I'd just tell you here. <laughs> v, I just wanted you to know that 
happy. For the first time in my life. And I wanted to... Speak of the devil. See you soon.